How much is this going to cost me exactly? How much is this going to cost me exactly? How much is this going to cost me exactly? As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. You leave me no choice! How much is this going to cost me exactly? 
How much is this going to cost me exactly? I just hope I can help. I just hope I can help. How much is this going to cost me exactly? How much is this going to cost me exactly? I just hope I can help.
Everything you've heard, completely true. Everything you've heard, completely true. Everything you've heard, completely true. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. You leave me no choice! How much is this going to cost me, exactly? How much is this going to cost me, exactly? You leave me no choice! Thank you. 
I just hope I can help. I just hope I can help. Everything you've heard, completely true. You leave me no choice! Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Explain this. I... can't. What do you mean, you... Can't. I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need her, Cassandra. So what happens now? Do you remember what happened? How this began. I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She reached out to me, but then... <sighs> Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, 
just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. So I don't really have a choice about this. None of us has a choice. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves as she did, until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. <laughs> oh, Creator, see me kneel, for I walk only where you would bid me. Stand only in places you have blessed. Sing only the words you place in my heart. Open the gate! We are heading into the valley. Pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything farther in the valley was laid waste including the Temple of Sacred Ashes. I suppose you'll see soon enough.
it's over. Drop your weapon. Now! If you're going to lead me through a demon-infested valley, you'll have to trust me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the line. <sighs> you're right. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you did not attempt to run. These potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp, or fighting. We are on our own for now. Them, we may gain the advantage. Help them. Yeah. 
quickly before more come through. What did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. You mean this? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself? Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag-along. Are you with the Chantry, or...? <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you. Considering current events. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus is an apostate, well versed in such matters. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade, far beyond the experience of any Circle Mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed regardless of origin. That's a commendable attitude. Merely a sensible one. Although, sense appears to be in short supply right now. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Demons ahead! Glad you brought me now, Seeker!
Are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. Liliana made it through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there.
Rift is gone. Open the gate. Right away, Lady Cassandra. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. Here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor, as you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? Use the mountain path. Work together. You all know what's at stake. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker.
tunnel should be just ahead. The path to the temple lies just beyond it. What manner of tunnel is this? A mine? Part of an old mining complex. These mountains are full of such paths. And your missing soldiers are in there somewhere? Along with whatever has detained them. We shall see soon enough.
soldiers. That cannot be all of them. So the others could be holed up ahead. Our priority must be the breach. Unless we seal it soon, no one is safe. I'm leaving that to our elven friend here. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Thank the Maker you finally arrived, Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. She insisted we come this way. The prisoner? Then you... It was worth saving you, if we could. Then you have my sincere gratitude. The way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment. Go, while you still can. At once. Quickly, let's move! The path ahead appears to be clear of demons as well. Let's hurry before that changes. Down the ladder. That's the way to the temple. in the Fade don't just accidentally happen, right? If enough magic is brought to bear, it is possible. But there are easier ways to make things explode. That is true. We will consider how this happened once the immediate danger is past. Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was.
Bridges a long way up. You're here. Thank the Maker. Leliana, have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'm assuming you have a plan to get me up there? No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. This stuff is Red Lyrium Seeker. I see it, Varric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on Lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <sighs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Keep the sacrifice still. Someone help me! That is Divine Justinia's voice. Your voice. Most holy called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run when you can! Run them! We have an intruder. Slay the elf. there who attacked and the divine is she was this vision true what are we seeing i don't remember echoes of what happened here the fade bleeds into this place this rift is not sealed but it is closed albeit temporarily i believe that with the mark the rift can be opened and then sealed properly and safely however opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side that means demons! Stand ready! Coming through. 
didn't know you were awake. I swear. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. So you're saying they're happy with me? I'm only saying what I heard. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. Andraste herself was watching over her. Hush. We shouldn't disturb her. That's her. She stopped the breach from getting any bigger. I heard she was supposed to close it entirely. Still, it's more than anyone else has done. Demons would have had us otherwise. Still a lot of rifts left all over. Little cracks in the sky. Chancellor Roderick says that the Chantry wants nothing to do with us. That isn't Chancellor Roderick's decision, sister. to Val Royo immediately, to be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe she is guilty. The elf failed, Seeker. The breach is still in the sky. For all you know, she intended it this way. I do not believe that. That is not for you to decide. Your duty is to serve the Chantry. My duty is to serve the principles on which the Chantry was founded, Chancellor, as is yours. Chain her! I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. 
You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone Most Holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. The Breach is stable now. What more do you want from me? We must try again. The Breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After? They laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done, united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. If you're truly trying to restore order... That is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late.
Sacred asked, told me that he can't let the herbs go for anything less than eight. Fine. We'll gather our own. Tell Sacred. He better hope he doesn't need a salve any time soon. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you can pay me back by fixing the world. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. But for a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Gladly. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. Let me know if you need anything. Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the Fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins? Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I imagine you find some amazing things in there, alongside all the demons. Exactly. It is occasionally dangerous, yes. But more often it's just sad to see what has been lost. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodating, but you understand my caution.
Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. It's far too soon to consider anything like that. Those who steal from their brothers or sisters are the to to harm to their livelihood and to their peace of mind. Fix the door just like you are. Can I get you anything? What can you tell me about this area? Adan is Haven's apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harris is the Inquisition smith. Whatever he can make you, Thren the quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Segrit. His prices aren't too high. Yet. Oh, there's also my knave. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Farewell. Goodbye. The world for this divine to come is fire in the end of time. I am the one who can recount what we lost. the breach. I heard some speak of using the Templars instead. Oh. I suppose that would work as well. If you're here to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife here, come to me. Oh, you're her. Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? 
I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Elden under Ten Logan McTeer, best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. With that attitude, I can't imagine how you made enemies in Denerim. People just don't want to hear the truth. I was at Ostagar, and I know what really happened. King Kalen overextended his position, and the Grey Wardens were too late lighting the signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Turn Loghain made the right decision. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. Farewell. Make a go with you. If you find anything we need, let me know. Sit me by your help. side, to death. Make me one with you. Ah, you're awake and out of Lady Cassandra's clutches. And I slipped that, uh, young elven lass good coin to tell me when you came back to us. No matter, no matter. Segret, honored to meet you. Thank you for all you've done, and hopefully will still do. Build siege equipment. You're not laying siege to anything. That's an excellent point, Richard. But when someone comes to lay siege to us, perhaps it will be best for us to have some means to fight back. Ha! 
Fighting anyway, sir. I've heard it was mages, demons. No one really knows. That's the maker's truth. All you need to know is that we're holding this place against whoever comes to take it. said that without my war, he won't be able to get away from the truth.
There was no word for heaven or for earth, sea or sky. All that existed was silence. Then the voice of the Maker rang out. Clissa thought you and your men might be working on first. She sent me over to see if you need it. We're fine, thank you. I heard Seeker Pentecost might try to acquire. Expected you'd be by. I'm Harriet, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear fit? Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So. You need custom work, something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. If I want something, what can you make? Start simple, something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. You find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of you. You can't just slap a new ilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. Goodbye. Right. You need something? Need something? You need something? Let me know. You need something? Let me know.
another time. You need something, let me know.
looks fine. Serve you well. I should look around.
See reason, Lesset. We cannot stay here. Why not? Because we're Templar. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. None of this shit should have happened. You don't know the half of it. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them, and now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky, that's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. So we're heretics, just like that. Should we surrender or... Don't be foolish. We are the Chantry, as much as any group. Can I help you with something? Farewell. Make a go with you. You're back. And in one piece. You said you thought Master Tajin was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here, but he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Let me know if you need anything.
Does it trouble you? I wish I could get rid of it. We have need of it yet. So you've mentioned. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Clearly you have something in mind. We do. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Such as they are, we lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You've just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Leliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the mages or Templars for help is currently out of the question. So if I wasn't with the Inquisition... Let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable sort. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Have you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes.
Let us begin. Let's see what we have. All right. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? Awful things happen every day. Get used to it. Get used to being a pawn? To be discarded when the Maker's done with you? The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandon us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. 
Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come. To work, then. We will speak later. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. That wasn't my idea. I'd be concerned if it was. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. You left the Templars for this. You believe the Inquisition can work? I do. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new Divine while the Breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. You've given this a lot of thought. I know what happens when order is lost. And action comes too late. Uh, there's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. Mm, as I was saying. Kind of a force of nature, aren't you? When I need to be. It's impressive. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool, and they may be right. What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. Isn't it a bit late to worry about it now? We have only just begun. My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. 
You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. I'm curious. Do you even believe in the Maker? I believe he exists. You do? I'm surprised, but I suppose it's comforting. Surely the Maker put us both on this path for a reason. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us.
I'm glad there are big, strong men around in case anything happens here in Hades. Now, don't you worry about that sort of thing, girl. Serve you well. Come on, you've seen our mounts. Most of them should be pulling plows. I thought I'd be more useful here. Ah, uh, we'll see. Another time, then. You need something?
You need something, let me know. Darkness comes upon me. I shall embrace the light. Too many wounded, and not enough bandages. For she who trusts in the Maker, fire is her. Let us begin. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Would you consider allowing me to acquire your hand? <laughs> After your death, of course.
Help yourself to a sock from the basket. But only one! <laughs> I liked your old nose better. How about nails? Can Harriet at least get me a few score nails by tomorrow? Master Harriet said I'm good at nails. He said I have a mind like a hammer. Nice work with those supplies. The smiths can use them to fit our troops with better gear. Might not affect you much, but our recruits will have better chances next time some monster flies out of a rift. Farewell. Make a go with you. Butler has downed on us. I hope my heart is wrong. Researcher Minave wishes to verify.